Today is November the 12th. Today, we'll read an imprecatory psalm. Today, as we read through the Bible in a year, we'll read Psalm 136 to 138. Now, Psalm 136 and 138 are kind of normal psalms. Uh, Psalm 136 has the unusual characteristic that the second line of every verse is, His mercy, His faithful love endures forever. Psalm 138 is uh, a psalm of David, kind of typical of David's psalms. He ends saying, O oh Lord, don't abandon me. You made me. Don't abandon me. But Psalm 137 belongs to a category of psalms called the imprecatory psalms. Imprecatory because they called down curses on their enemies. Psalm 137 begins. It's a psalm written from Babylon. By the rivers of Babylon, we sat and wept as we thought of Jerusalem. Verse 3, our captors demanded a song from us. Verse 5, may my tongue stick to the roof of my mouth if I fail to remember you. If I don't make Jerusalem my greatest joy. But then, Psalm uh, 137, 7 to 9 calls down the curse on Babylon. O oh Lord, remember what the Edomites did on the day the armies of Babylon captured Jerusalem. Destroy it, they yelled. Level it to the ground. O oh Babylon, you will be destroyed. Happy is the one who pays you back for what you have done to us. And then this verse. Happy is the one who takes your babies and smashes them against the rocks. Wow. That sure doesn't sound like scripture. That sure doesn't sound like a loving God, does it? What do we do with the imprecatory psalms? There are not many. There are some seven or eight, but they are there. They call down curses on Israel's enemy. I think the best approach to imprecatory psalms is to realize that they simply call for God to act. In a sense, they call for the fulfillment of God's promise to Abraham. Those who curse you, I will curse. They call for God to fulfill that promise. This is the final outcome of that nation's sin. Yes, there was a time when they acted and they uh, controlled Jerusalem, when they sacked Jerusalem, when they did evil against God's people. But their sin will find them out. God will eventually punish them as well. The imprecatory psalm simply asks God to bring that day. It is interesting to note that frequently even imprecatory psalms, include within them a message of hope and a message of restoration for all those who turn to God. Today, let's read Psalm 136 to 138. Psalm 136 through 138, New Living Translation. Psalm 136. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to him who alone does mighty miracles. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to him who made the heavens so skillfully. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to him who placed the earth among the waters. His faithful love endures forever. 
Give thanks to him who made the heavenly lights. His faithful love endures forever. The sun to rule the day, his faithful love endures forever, and the moon and stars to rule the night. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to him who killed the firstborn of Egypt. His faithful love endures forever. He brought Israel out of Egypt. His faithful love endures forever. He acted with a strong hand and powerful arm. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to him who parted the Red Sea. His faithful love endures forever. He led Israel safely through. His faithful love endures forever. But he hurled Pharaoh and his faithful army into the Red Sea. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to him who led his people through the wilderness. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to him who struck down the mighty kings. His faithful love endures forever. He killed powerful kings. His faithful love endures forever. King Shihon of the Amorites. His faithful love endures forever. And King Og of Barshan. His faithful love endures forever. God gave the land of these kings as an inheritance. His faithful love endures forever. A special possession to his servant Israel. His faithful love endures forever. He remembered us in our weakness. His faithful love endures forever. He saved us from our enemies. His faithful love endures forever. He gives food to every living thing. His faithful love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven. His faithful love endures forever. Psalm 137 Beside the rivers of Babylon we sat and wept as we thought of Jerusalem. We put away our harps, hanging them on the branches of the poplar trees. For our captors demanded a song from us. Our tormentors insisted on a joyful hymn. Sing us one of those songs of Jerusalem. But how can we sing the songs of the Lord while in a pagan land? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget how to play the harp. May my tongue stick to the roof of my mouth if I fail to remember you. If I don't make Jerusalem my greatest joy. O Lord, remember what the Edomites did on the day the armies of Babylon captured Jerusalem. Destroy it, they yelled. Level it to the ground. O Babylon, you will be destroyed. Happy is the one who pays you back for what you have done to us. Happy is the one who takes your babies and smashes them against the rock. Psalm 138, a Psalm of David. I give thanks, O Lord, with all my heart. I will sing your praises before the gods. I bow before your holy temple as I worship. I praise your name for your unfailing love and faithfulness. And your promises are backed by all the honor of your name. As soon as I pray, you answer me. You encourage me by giving me strength. Every king in all the earth will thank you, Lord. For all of them will hear your words. Yes, they will sing about the Lord's ways. For the glory of the Lord is great. Though the Lord is great, He cares for the humble, but he keeps his distance from the proud. Though I am surrounded by troubles, you will protect me from the anger of my enemies. You reach out your hand, and the power of your right hand saves me. The Lord will work out his plans for my life. For your faithful love, O Lord, endures forever. Don't abandon me, for you made me. Scripture reading by Emily Herrera Like, follow, and subscribe to this devotional on whatever platform you use to listen to it. Email your questions to us at questions at becomehope.com. Tomorrow, we'll turn to the book of Galatians.